Hi, my name is Iswan and I'm a pilot with Singapore Airlines. And today, I'm very happy to be here to read to you this book, A Blue Cat's Tale, written by Sangeeta Madhavan, illustrated by Michelle Chang, and printed by the Straits Times Press. A very big thank you to them for letting me read to you today. Let's begin. A Blue Cat's Tale Max is a friendly blue cat who is new in town. His neighbourhood is his playground. It is full of spots to perch and play on. Can you spot Max in the picture? I'll give you a clue. He's hiding in the tree. That's right. There he is. But Max doesn't have anyone to play with just yet. Most of the other cats are brown, white, grey or black. This is the neighbourhood. Do you see any cats in the picture? There's a white one sitting on the ground and there's a black one walking on the roof. But none of these cats has ever met a blue cat before and they are all a little scared of him. So Max prowls the town alone, scanning for mice or scraps of food. In a few days, he knows every tile, door and shutter. Max naps a lot and he often dreams of having a friend to roam the roofs with. A friend of any colour, he sighs as he shivers and curls up into a tight ball under the stars. One bright, clear morning, Max is taking a long sip at the sink when he has an idea. He grins at his reflection in the mirror. If cats won't play with me, perhaps others will. Max curls his lip at Bling, the goldfish, to greet him. Could Bling be his friend? But Bling is scared of cats. He turns his tail and swims to the other side. Max is sad. I need to find another friend, he says. Snoop is napping on the porch. He's a big dog. Look how big he is compared to Max. Hello, Max murmurs. He is scared of dogs, but Snoop is a gentle giant who wouldn't hurt a fly. But Snoop only raises an eyebrow. Max isn't quite sure if he wants to be his friend. He'd prefer someone to talk to, someone to play with. Yawn. On waking, a flash of ginger fur catches his eye. Ginger is like an orange colour. Hello, I'm Lexi, the tabby meows. We just moved in yesterday. Can you find Lexi, the orange cat, in this picture? She's sitting by the stairs near the top. That's right, there she is. Max's ears form a smile above his head. Lexi sounds friendly, but Max is wary of strangers. After all, he hasn't seen an orange cat before. You know, I just had a delicious meal, purrs Lexi, her nose twitching. I helped myself to some fish when no one was looking. Lexi is not only chatty, she's cheeky too. Could she be a friend? Lexi invites Max onto the roof to enjoy the cool breeze. He glides across and sits down a little distance away. Sometimes with friends, you don't really need to talk, Max realises. Max is curious about Lexi. He wants to get to know her a little better. Would you like to go for a walk by the riverside, he asks. Lexi would love to. I like this neighbourhood, says Lexi, as the shadows grow. So do I, says Max. It reminds me of my previous place, says Lexi. The water was very close. I know many of us don't like it, she smiles, but I just love watching the boats go by and taking a dip to cool off. Me too, cries Max. As they laze around, a magnificent hot air balloon floats past. 
You can see more of the city from up there, says Max. Could I come with you next time? asks Lexi. Of course, says Max. It would be fun to do that with a friend. You know, we could sail far away in those things, Lexi suggests. Max imagines the two of them visiting faraway lands and strange places. Yes, he could see himself doing that with Lexi. She would make a fun travel buddy. He's enjoying spending his day with her. Even if she is orange, they do have lots in common. Just then, the inky sky lights up. Lexi is very still, but her heart is racing. Fireworks! Have you seen fireworks before? Look how colourful they are and how they light up the entire sky. Max moves closer, so she is not afraid. What a lovely surprise, she finally purrs. Must be a special day, says Max. It's going to be fun sharing the neighbourhood with Lexi, he thinks. We're going to be good friends. And that brings us to the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed meeting Max and Lexi. I certainly enjoyed reading to you. My name is Iswan. I'm a pilot with Singapore Airlines. And I hope to see you on board someday. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>